Hey, it's Robert Anthony. And <laughs> all this talk about insurance and relationship insurance, boy, do I have a good example for you about how costly it can be when you don't buy relationship insurance. I'll be right back to show you. See you in a minute. What's up everybody? It's Robert Anthony, robertanthonyflores.com. Here I am in front of me, one order, one. This came through on my website. Now, I'm not going to tell you who it's going to. I'm not going to tell you who it's from because I would never compromise my customer's identity. And of course, as a florist, I am always excited for a great big order. I love having great big orders. They make me so happy. This is over $200 worth of merchandise. So, let's go over this a little bit, all right? We have 24 long-stemmed, premium-colored roses, artfully arranged in a vase. We have the biggest bear that we offer on our website. I have, of course, a candy bar. That's always a good add-on. And I have a total of eight, I'm sorry, Mylar balloons. This person that's sending this order is sorry. <laughs> we can't tell, right? Okay, so this is a simple case of buying the homeowner's insurance after the house is burned down. That's what I think. Now, this is no insult to the customer. I appreciate the customer, and he's going to get proper care and, and feeding and taken care of with regard to what we're going to do for him. Oh, and I forgot to mention, he upgraded the delivery charge and paid the $20 to have it delivered in two hours on top of the $12.99 existing delivery charge. So this will be good. It'll work. It'll, you know, solve things over. But I dare say that should we take the over $200 and spread it out even on our bronze package, which is only $240 for the course of the year, this might not be quite as necessary. So my encouragement to you is, this is again an example of what we see on an almost weekly basis, I'm sorry is a very expensive proposition. If we can just twist our mind a little bit, and particularly dudes, I'm talking to you. If we can twist our mind just a little bit to say, I'm going to think about things from a little bit different perspective, instead of flowers all the time when I'm sorry, and correlating the negative to, I've done something wrong, so you're getting flowers, to perhaps buying one of our insurance packages, and she gets flowers because you've thought enough ahead to say, I love you. When you do have to say you're sorry, first of all, it may not have to be quite as big, And secondly, it might not cost quite as much. Not to mention the fact that the long-term impact of being that kind of dude, that kind of person, infinitely better than I'm going to buy you flowers when I'm sorry. Now, keep buying flowers when you're sorry. If you buy your insurance package, it's not a bad thing to buy flowers when you're sorry. That's not at all what I'm saying. What I am saying is it might go over better for you when you do say I'm sorry and it won't cost you quite as much. So, word from the florist, not word from the wise, because I don't promote to be wise, or purport, I guess would be the right word. See, my daughter's on the other side of the camera watching this one and she's the wordsmith and I know how it works in her mind. She's thinking back there saying, it's not promote, Dad. It's purport. It's not promote. It's purport. I don't purport to be wise and it's a battle in her mind. This is her, her problem. This is her struggle. But I'm telling you, I don't purport to be the wise one. I just know because I do this for a living, this is a regular occurrence, all right? So, hey, thanks for stopping by. And I want to ask you, maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And, of course, leave me comments. Uh, like one guy said on YouTube, if they're tasteful comments, if they're tasteful comments, we'll respond. What's that supposed to mean? Are you that big of a baby that when you put yourself out there on YouTube, you're not fully expecting people to come along and say, you're a loser. I don't like your glasses. Nice glasses. Yeah, they're better than your mama's glasses. 
That's a little IT crowd reference that's an inside joke. You'll have to watch that. Watch the IT crowd on Netflix. Listen to how far off track I'm getting. Well, <laughs> I'll see you later. We'll talk about this insurance thing more as opportunities present itself. And as always, thanks for being our customer. We'll see you soon.